Hi everybody, happy to meet you again. Hope the previous modules would have given you a glimpse of the historical foundation of early childhood care and education and its significance with inputs on the principles and major domains of development. As already endorsed, the first six years of one's life is the most significant period of brain development. The growing interest in research and brain development had facilitated us to learn more about the brain and its working, milestones of brain development and the importance of critical periods of development. Hence, the third module on brain development at early years was formulated to make you understand the complexity of the brain functioning at early years, emphasizing the optimal growth period of every skill developed in a child what we call it as windows of learning and present strategies for the facilitator or caretaker to provide an enriching conducive environment for a child to make the brain work towards maximum the whole module comes in the form of three videos on the whole at the end of the three videos you will be able to comprehend the structure and working of the brain, understand the milestones of brain development right from conception to six years of life, realize the importance of critical periods of brain development by gaining an insight of the windows of learning and the last outcome would be the strategies to create a simulative enriched environment for a child during his early years for effective brain development. Before attempting to realize and provide an enriched environment for the child's developing brain, it is rudimentary to understand the working of the human brain. This section of the module defines particular vocabulary or terms related to brain science and its structure. The first important term is neurons. Neurons are referred as brain cells and are the main components of the brain and spinal cord. Its function is to transmit messages to and fro from the brain to electrical signals across the structures called synapses. Now what are synapses? Synapses are structures that connect one neuron head to another neuron's tail called axon. The third most important term is myelination. Myelination is a process of covering the axons with a fatty substance called myelin. This covering allows the signals to travel faster through the neuron. After knowing about the rudimentary terms, now let us understand the brain structure. The most complex and of course the important organ of a human brain is the brain as you know. It is a brain which controls and maintains every sense and functions of the body. Collecting information from various parts of the body, interpreting it and generating an appropriate response are the major tasks of the brain. Based on the position in the front, middle or back of the skull, the human brain is divided into three major parts, namely forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Forebrain is referred to the center of processing sensory information. It has got two subcomponents called diencephalon and telencephalon. Diencephalon has thalamus and hypothalamus to control sensory and autonomic process. Whereas telencephalin contains the major part of the brain called cerebrum. Now what is midbrain? It is a part that mediates hindbrain and the forebrain by acting as a bridge in transmitting signals between them. The top of the midbrain is known as optic tectum that integrates the visionary and auditory data. Hindbrain is said to be the control center for visceral functions 
and has three subparts namely medulla oblongata pons and cerebellum the three parts of the brain namely hit brain which is otherwise called as alarm center mid brain called as emotional center and fore brain called as executive center grows sequentially from bottom to top that is from least complicated part that's brain stem in the hind brain to more complex area called cortex in the fore brain in between the hind and the fore brain is a limbic region called mid brain the functions carried by these parts of the brain are vividly portrayed in the figure that is shown to you the fore brain which is called the executive center looks into abstract thought concrete thought logic reasoning and affiliation aspects the mid brain or which is called as the emotional center takes care of the attachment contextual memory sexual behavior emotional reactivity arousal appetite or satiety and motor regulation the hen brain or the brain stem or the alarm center takes care of your blood pressure temperature sleep heart rate and breathing now what is brain lateralization there are two hemispheres of the brain what we call it as right and the left hemisphere both the hemispheres that carry different functions for example the left hemisphere is responsible for verbal abilities that is the spoken and written language the right hemisphere is in charge of the emotional reaction and spatial abilities that is judging distances recognizing geometric shapes etc however this pattern is reversed for left handed people thus the two hemispheres undergo a process of specialization to perform its function in that person this process of specialization of two hemispheres is called lateralization and now let us look into the functions of the various parts of the brain in detail different areas of the brain handle different functions as already you know about it as these areas get established for its core function at birth itself however higher brain functions become possible as and when the brain grows the different areas of the brain and its functions are illustrated to you the frontal lobe takes care of abstract thinking problem solving reasoning executive functioning organizing motor functions and it regulates emotions expressive language organize thoughts on papers remembers facts from teachers starts and complete task and even tells stories the second part the parietal lobe takes care of the sensory information you know the senses are taste touch smell and temperature and then comes the occipital lobe which takes care of the visual system and visual information processes words on a page no shapes and sizes recognize letters and knows left from right then comes the temporal lobe temporal lobe takes care of the speech auditory processing hearing behavior emotions short term memory long term memory processes what the teacher teaches you and even the fear and the flight and the fight response and it retains facts now what what is the function of cerebellum cerebellum is important for the balance coordination attention rhythm vestibular kick a ball or throw a ball jump on one foot ride a bike etc the spinal cord is said to be the pathway to send sensory information to the brain and motor information from the brain and it also can coordinate reflexes now hope this video on brain development with particular reference to the brain structure and a detailed explanation of the functions of each and every part of the brain had made us tremendous insight into what is the brain development and how does it grow and what is the significance of the brain development at such an early stage itself the remaining two videos will elaborate you on the other aspects thank you for patient listening